Hey, welcome to the Traffic Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about tags and categories in Hexo. Tags and categories are basically two ways that you can group your content together in Hexo. And so if you have a bunch of content on your website, let's say you have a blog and you have a bunch of different blog posts, sometimes it can be helpful to categorize those blog posts into different categories. It can also be helpful to tag those blog posts with specific keywords. If you can both categorize your pages and tag your pages, then it becomes a lot easier for your users to locate the types of pages that they want. And it can also just increase the overall organization of your website. So I'm going to show you in this tutorial exactly how to implement and how to tag your content with tags and categories. Let's talk for a quick second about my setup. I have inside of this source and inside of this post folder, I have three posts. A, B, and C. And all of these could represent like blog posts on your website. If we want to add tags to each of these posts, we can do that by simply creating an array. So I could say tag one, tag two, and tag three. So I'm going to tag this A file with tag one, tag two, and tag three. And then I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go over to this B file. And I just want to tag the B file with tag one. And I want to go over to this C file and I'm going to tag this C file with tag three. So let's save and let's head over to our Hexo website, which is right over here. And what I want you to notice is now because of the theme we're using, Hexo is able to recognize which files are tagged with which tags. So you see this C file right here is tagged with tag three, B is tagged with tag one, and A is tagged with tags one, two, and three. So you can use these tags to tag keywords to your specific blog posts. There's also, with the theme we're using, there's this tags section right here. And you'll see that it has these three links, and these are linking to special pages that Hexo creates. So in addition to just being able to tag the content that you create with different tags, Hexo will also generate specific pages for each one of those tags. So if I come over here and I click on this tag one link, Hexo brings us to a different page. And I want you to notice the URL up here. It's forward slash tags and forward slash tag one. This is a page that is entirely dedicated just to tag one. And so what it does is it lists out all of the content on our website that has tag one. So that's B and A. Both of these files were tagged with tag one. If I go over to tag two, it's the same story, right? It's this tags forward slash tag two. But now instead of displaying B and A, it's only displaying A because A is the only one that's tagged with tag one. The same thing is true for tag three. This is displaying C and A because both of those are tagged with tag three. So Hexo automatically generated this tags page and all we had to do was just tag our content. And that's what's cool about tags and categories is that Hexo will do a bunch of work behind the scenes in order to organize our website. And all we have to do is just add in these tags up here in the front matter. You can do a similar thing with categories. So instead of just having tags, I can also type out categories and I want to create an array of categories. So the way that you need to do this with categories, if you want to have multiple categories is do something like this. So let's just say this is going to be category one and then we'll have, whoops, category two and we'll have one more. It's going to be category three. So, I've tagged this page with categories. Now when I refresh my page, I'm actually just going to go to the home page. Whoops. You'll see that because I tagged tag A with categories, this categories section shows up here. And so you can see the three different categories that this is tagged with. And categories act just like tags do. So if I click on this category one link, Hexo will bring me to this categories page forward slash category one. And just like tags, this will display all the pages that are tagged with this A tag or tagged with category one tag, sorry. And there's also this categories section down here, which displays all the categories. 
So if I was to mark other pages with categories, like for example, if I marked that B file with category one, on the category one page, the B file would also show up. You can also make categories more complex. So I can have categories and inside of them, I can have subcategories. So inside of cat two, I could have, or cat one, I could have cat 1.1. So this would be a subcategory to category one. When we refresh the page, you'll notice that cat 1.1 shows up as our category. And so category 1.1 is also gonna have its own page and you'll see here that it's rendered inside of this category one directory. And again, it's just gonna show A. And if I go to this category one page, this will also show A because even though A is tagged with category 1.1, it's also tagged with category one. So that's kind of the way that you can create subcategories uh, just like that. With only using tags and categories, you can seriously optimize and organize all of the content on your website for your users. And if you're using a good Hexo theme, like I'm just using the default theme that came with Hexo, it will automatically, you know, create spaces for these categories and make it really easy for your users to find the content that they want to find. And all you have to do is just modify the front matter and everything else is done for you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.